Following last week's report on the launch of the student radio station, concerns have been raised by the issue with regards to the reasons for the delay in starting the station up. I want to speak to the station manager Danny Noble for a more informed view. Now Danny, after watching last week's report on the launch of the student radio station, you mentioned to me that you felt perhaps some of the information wasn't presented to the viewers accurately. Um, could you further elaborate on what you meant by this? Yeah, um, I didn't believe really that the reasons that the, the radio station itself has been delayed since September were portrayed in the, the interview. Um, Basically what happened in September, we bought all the equipment, we tested streaming and we were ready to launch the station and start getting staffing and going with that. Um, what happened then was the university intervened uh, and IT services had some concerns over us using their system. Uh, so basically it was a long drawn out series of meetings with the head of IT services which is Mark Allenson um, and eventually we did come to a conclusion just before Christmas uh, which meant that we could then move forward. Uh, there would also been some issues with licensing obviously because we are an internet student based radio station we still have to pay for uh, broadcast licensing so it's been up and down but that again now is all being cleared up which is why we're ready to go again. What are your eventual aims for the radio station? Where do you intend to go with it? Um, my aims for the station are very high. Uh, I intend uh, for the station to be up and running by Easter, between Easter and the end of this academic year to get everyone fully trained up that we can and start working towards next year. My long term aim is to basically get Edge Radio uh, on the map and hopefully go to the Student Radio uh, Association Awards which are held in London and uh, associated with Radio One uh, and hopefully some of our students and maybe the station can look forward and start winning awards. And so it seems things may finally be turning around for the student radio station. Although excitement and certainly momentum is building, everybody involved in the project is under no illusion as to the amount of work that must be done before the dream of Edge Radio can become a reality. This is Chris Prince reporting for Edge Hill News.